So, I don't know if this one's stuck. Not stuck. We might just, uh, go for it. Let's try it. I'm doing a very good job of hitting it. There we go. We'll do it a couple times in a row there. Yeah, I think we might be able to uh, to take this one out. Yeah, I think it's stuck in those trees pretty good. Alright. Now it's loose. Uh, maybe not. We'll just, uh... Keep trying to move fast here. I think we just got it! Yeah! First time I ever got one of these. What do I do? Empty hand. Very nice. Good experience there. You little melon. And uh, let's see what we have here. We have dragon skull, dragon heart, some dragon flesh. I have those on the dragon bones, dragon scales. Okay, so we can just straight up make uh, armor with that. That's cool. And we have all these chests. Oh, no, quite a few chests. Silver? We're getting uh, silver nuggets out of that. Okay. So let's check out the chest. Pack dice, iron, chain of bones. Yeah, some stuff. Okay, what's this? Sapphire. What do we do with this stuff? Soul urn. Summon puppy. Make uh, an ice dragon summon. Okay. That's interesting. Earn. Alright. Some things I don't understand. Some bones. More silver. More chains. I'll take all this. Why not? Couple more of those manuscripts. And this is the last one. Silver boots. Alright. Dragon Slayer. Anyway, hello, my name is Second, and we are playing TNT Limitless Street. And there's a couple things I want to do today. The first of which is detail of the house. Now, where we don't have the, what are gonna be flower boxes, we're gonna put, uh, what are they called? Um, they're in here somewhere. These parapets. So we're gonna be doing these, uh, these dark oak parapets. We just need dark oak logs and sticks. Now we can get our silk to farm this stuff for us. They don't have to be complete trees. We just have to have the wood here. Cool. There you go. Next thing we're going to want is to start making seeds from mystical agriculture. And there is a guidebook for this mod, which you can make. It's pretty good. Um, if you're not familiar with the mod, I recommend making it. So what we're going to do 
to uh, go ahead and make a bunch of red carpet. We're going to need 10, tone gold, 10 gold total, which is what I'm trying to say, and a bunch of stone. Now we're going to make <clears throat> one infusion altar, and we're going to make eight of those pedestals. Let's hopefully uh, have enough red carpet to do that. There we go. And that's another quest. Oh, well, we got this. Oh, that's a loot bag. Ice and fire. Hello. We killed that dragon. We got that skull. We got the scales. Something else. A couple other things here. The sea serpent fang. <laughs> Loot bag for the sea. Oh, there's all kinds of sea serpent scales, so we're gonna have to. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> and finally, some mystical agriculture. And that was worth a loot bag. And that was worth a loot bag. A lot of loot bags. Let's uh get some of this stuff out of our inventory here. Let's see what's inside them. Have any more of these bag pieces? Yes, we do. Very cool. And we'll make. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Now we're hitting the right key. <laughs> All this organized. Okay, we got Jibo for that. So we got a chain, Tesla coil, neat. A two, something from rats, something from building gadgets, a Narslimus, Ender chest backpack. That's pretty cool. That's you know backpack little, a small modern bulb lamp. Mob drop. Some kind of clump. I don't know anything about the uh, crossroads mod. So urinite. Throw that in here. Slime boots. <laughs> cool. Cave moss. That looks like a drop. And we got a couple other things. Let's just Okay. This is the seed making apparatus for uh, mystical agriculture. Um, kind of the part of the mod. We'll set the pedestals up in a little circle with the altar in the middle. You put the altar down and give you ghost image of where the pedestals go, which is pretty cool. And you're going to need something to give a redstone signal. Button is perfect. Now, we're going to want to start with a whole bunch of, uh, where are they? The essence seeds. And I hope we can craft them. But air, earth, fire, infernium. That's what we need. Okay, so it's just a bunch of this stuff. And some seeds. Where are all our seeds? No seeds. There we go. Alright, we have a little bit of Infernium. So we're going to want to make nine of these. And we're going to want to make a bunch of these Prosperity Seeds, which aren't bad. They're just uh, four Prosperity Seeds. Okay, very good. We'll just make as many as we can here. That'll be 55. And let's say we wanted to start with... Do we want to start with air seeds? Do you do anything with the air? 
You do not. You just make it for the sake of making it. Is it a quest to make it? Doesn't look like it. But we'll take those levels. And we'll take those levels of loot bag pieces. But it doesn't look like it wants us to make specific seeds. So we can just kind of make what we want. We will need to make some infusion crystals. Eventually, we're going to want this top end, but we'll need uh, more resources to make that. The advantage of the top end is that it doesn't use durability. This one has a thousand uses. This five. Uh, so what is it? Just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's not really that expensive. We have uh, plenty of diamonds. So let's go back. I'd say, how about Earth Seeds? I'm sure we use. Let me just make sure. Air Essence. Okay, we, we, the Air Essence itself doesn't do anything, so we don't need to make that. But the Earth Essence we can use to make Soul Source, and that's it. Huh. Is that really it? What about water? Okay, this you can make kelp, you can make buckets of kelp, is really useful. And with dirt, you can make clay balls. So we'll make water first. Now to do that, we'll need four of these water agglomotios, or agglomer, however you pronounce it. And we'll need three buckets of water for that. Three more <laughs> buckets of water. <laughs> For that. Oh boy, look at this guy. I don't even know if I have an infinite water source anymore. Yeah, so not every seed does something in this, um, or does something does something useful. So, but what am I trying to do? I'm trying, I'm getting the recipe for this is what I'm doing. Okay. Now that's okay. Like, you can, you know, different mod pack authors can use it for different stuff. They can make it make stuff or not. It's fine. So let's go ahead and plant these. We may end up wanting more than one row. We may plant more of these along here, but we'll see. Generating anything you don't know how to deal with? Sure looks like it. Ooh, our first habanero. The habaneros Hello. come from the simple farming pepper plants, but there's just a very low random chance of getting them. Usually you get that. Just peppers. And that's fine. Uh, so what you do, and this is all JEI or NEI, uh, whatever it is, uh, compatible. You put whatever tier essence you're using. In this case, we're using just the basic first tier. And then you put your other ones on the cross borders, and you put your seed base on the altar, give it a redstone signal, and pretty quickly, you got your seed. Now these are gonna, we're, we're probably not gonna need more than one of most of these, because the silk's gonna make us a lot. Now the question is, is this the silk that's got <laughs> is going to produce the seed Hello. like she did in uh, in all the mod 6. So we'll we'll find out and if she does we'll figure out what we're going to do with them. Okay, yeah, so I see we've already gotten eight infernian seeds here. Um, and we're producing, the silk's already producing more than our basic logistical transporters can, uh, can deal with. So we're going to have to upgrade those. Now the next tier up, we just need infused alloy. And that's quite a bit more. To, oh, we just need one reinforced alloy, huh? Oh, we'll have to go with the infused alloy. That's fine, though. Alright, we'll just hop down here. We're going to be doing quite a bit more with this, uh, with this basement. 
Let me break it all. Uh, we made enough to make 24 of these. I think that's enough. And we'll go replace it and see how it does. Okay, so that's taken like stacks at a time. So that, that'll work out a lot better, I think. Now the real question is, what are we going to do with these seeds? Excuse the interruption. What is this? Chaos with? Alright, it wasn't very tough. We got black berries right here. What did it drop? Chaos with essence. Hello. Okay, we can make enchantment tokens. <laughs> oh, we can make a loyalty out of it. Interesting. For the time being, we're just going to store them. Um, we can process these, and we might do that. We shall see. Alright, so all of that's going to be going on in the background on detailing the house. We made those parapets, which will give these a little more depth. We're going to put these on the windows around the house. At some point, we got this record from Simple Farming. <clears throat> okay, so that's that noise we've been hearing out in the world in Enigmatic and Six. Alright, interesting. It's all pretty tight. And I think they're fast enough with the upgrades. And they have some, uh, some filters. That should be, uh, pretty useful. For, uh, sorting the seeds out. And processing it. We're just gonna need a little bit of redstone. I'll have, a. Uh, We're going to have to make some more iron bars, too. Hello. Still kind of hurting for gold. We might have to go to the nether. Alright, but let's make the pipe. Now, is, is there a quest line for this stuff? I don't want to miss it. Doesn't look like it. Cool. So we can just kind of defeat. So we've got the pipe. Increase speed of items ex exiting adjacent inventory speed varies by here. So we're gonna want one of these, which is one of these, which is one of these. We'll need a couple of these modules probably. Let's start with two. So that's four quartz, two redstone, two stone slabs, and a pipe. Hello. There's our quartz. There it is. See if we have stone slabs, probably not. Hello. Got a little bit of stone though. Let's see. Stone slabs. That'll make us, so we'll start with the, uh, pulls items, filters, and pull rates vary by tier. Actually, we're going to want one more of these, aren't we? Whoops. want to be over here. Alright. Two more quests. We'll get this eventually. Alright, super cool. So we'll start with the low extraction module. We just need a piston. Easy. Here we go. Piston. One low extraction module. And then four iron. Seven gold and diamond will take us up 
to the high tier. Right? Right. So we're going to want speed. So we'll need a sugar, four sugar, uh, nine sugar total. Okay. Should be able to uh, do all three of these. Hello. Up to the medium speed. And finally, up to the high speed. Now we want the filters. So we'll need one hopper, two iron bars, six iron bars. So have iron bars? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. So let's make our... Uh, I'm having problems. <laughs> okay, there's our hopper. There's our low filter. There's our medium filter. And there's our high filter. I can't predict the, uh, the items you've bugged well enough to take advantage of them, but I'll tell you, there's quite a few. <laughs> Let's see. Get rid of these. Head out to the farm. Actually, before we head out to the farm, we're going to have to get our, uh, our processing going here. Um, we need to uh, reprocess seeds. So we're going to need one of these machine frames, which is uh, four iron, four redstone, and just a regular piece of stone. Oh, we had some already. Right. Let's see. Oh, growth accelerator is not what we want. Seed reaper. Here we go, yeah. So one machine frame. Oh, okay, there's a quest. Um, we'll need two solium. Prosperity ingots. Do we have both now? That's the question. Don't see any. We'll have to take a quick trip into the nether. Okay, we have a full sand valley, not far from uh, Not far from the portal. You're gassy. Okay, so we'll have to make a few prosperity ingots. Um, I'm not sure how expensive they are in this, but we'll find out. Oh, that's not bad. So we'll make eight of them. Hello. And then we'll make... Is that not how you make the soil? Let's see. Solium ingots. Oh, we need solium dust. And for that we need... Okay, we gotta go find... the special mystical agriculture stuff, apparently. Just make double sure. Yeah, I think so. You gotta smelt the... Yeah, we'll have to go back to the nether and find fully more. That's okay. There's some kind of structure here. I see the, the block we want. It's surrounded by lava. Actually, oh, it's one of these, uh, one of these temples. I think it's horrible in here. I think it's horrible in here. Let's, oh, this doesn't look so bad. But, uh, our zombie friends here set off all the traps. 
pretty good. The arrows are harming. Holy crap. That was hurt. And, and okay, yeah. Take some arrows are harming. In the chest. Have a fancy stone sword, ring of knockback resistance, purifying power of Piglin emblem. Okay, some gold, some badly, badly needed gold. <laughs> so that's cool. We're just gonna throw this stuff in our tank, and I should. Room. Can I wear a third ring? I think I can. Very nice. Now, I think the other chest is just like right through here. Should have brought a few more torches. Yeah, here we go. Promising? Maybe. Sticky piston. There's a zombified piglin spawner. <laughs> Another couple pistons. I'll take those. And more stuff. Spider rock. Stone dust. Okay. Horse armor. Now we're making out in here. Gluttonous parasite. Keystone of the Oblivion. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Alright, cool. Here's some of the, uh, the aforementioned ore. This stuff becomes important, too. And you can find the ore in little pockets in the soul stone. Some more. Go ahead and smell this stuff up. Okay, you don't actually smell that stuff. Um, it's fine as is. So we're going to take these prosperity ingots and make some solian ingots. And we need that machine frame. And what else? Two iron hose and four iron ingots. So another eight iron. Now what this is going to allow us to do is uh, all these seeds that our filth is generating, it's going to allow us to turn them into essence. And we're going to actually do better from this then we will, um, so let's see what's next. We need an Infernium block, two Infernium ingots. That's easy. And we want as high a tier as this as possible. Very good. Completing all kinds of quests while we're at it here. Go up to the Infernium C3 processor. That's very nice. Let's see, Prudentian. For this we'll need, uh... Our Infusion Crystal. So we're gonna make a bunch of this stuff, uh, see how high... We can take it. Um, so we're moving up to Prudentian, right? Yeah. And it always does that, like... I don't know why... It never, like, puts the six... It never puts in as many as you can make, basically. It just does it once. Alright. So we need two Prudentian ingots. 
And the higher tier you make this thing, the faster it goes. And I believe also you might get more out of it per seed. But we'll see. And this will give you an idea of how the uh, the tiers for the different layers of essence go. Because now we're going to want to do the same thing um, with the next tier, which I believe is, uh, is tertium, right? Right. Probably as far as we're going to be able to take it. But there are other tiers above this. Alright, one tertium block. Very good. Finally, our tertium seed reprocessor. You can just take this stuff and craft it back into the the previous tier pretty easily. Alright, last thing I think we need is uh, one of these pipe wrenches. And this will allow us to interact with the pipes and see what we got going on. Um, we're gonna get rid of this whole... We're gonna need to stand up on something. <laughs> we're gonna get rid of all of this. Right? And we're going to replace it with these pipes. Alright, now we're going to see, I think we just right click this guy in here. Yeah! And it'll start taking everything out that has a home to go to. Right, right. Pretty cool so far. So the next thing we want, I'll put a barrel right there. Hello. And actually, let's see if we can get up here. <laughs> Whoops! Nope, that's that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, let's try it from up here. Hello. Whoops. Took it off entirely. Okay. Put the high effect. Now what, do we just right click on it? Yes, we just right click on it. Okay. And we'll put the high speed increase on it. Oh, okay, yeah. That moves stuff right along. Very cool. Now what we want is to filter so that only specific items can go in to this barrel. So let's filter on. Hold shift for restricts flow from pipes. Filter amount varies by tier. Okay, so we can switch from allowed to disallowed. Very cool. So right now, it's on allowed. So nothing should go in here. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, everything's fine right by. Very good. So now, if we take Water seeds, allow those. And infernium seeds, and allow those. And we go back upstairs. Hello. And throw these in the chest. They should get sucked right into the barrel. Right? Right. Now, these only do 20 slots a piece, and we're going to need a number of these setups. So what we're going to want to do is, uh, we can use the transporter for this. That will be just fine.
right up to about here. Put our seed reprocessor down. Now these work basically like a furnace, except this will not burn excess coal, it will build up a buffer. Um, the buffer increases, I believe, as you uh, increase the tier of the machine. We're going to set up to pump fuel into there automatically. And let's go ahead and get our... Come on. Oh, that's right. This backpack. <laughs> get our configurator out. And that'll start taking uh, what's in the barrel and putting it into the seed processor once it can fit. So the other thing we're going to want is uh, some more pipes. And that will extract and send that essence right up into our system as well. Now how much are we getting? We're getting two per seed, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I think I got it. I think it's this slot right here. Ah, oh, no, it didn't work. Okay, it do last time. Uh, that's going to have to about do it for this time. This is uh, the basic setup, though. We'll have our mystical agriculture and our other crops being automated by our silts, the seeds being reprocessed into more essence. So uh, pretty soon, we'll have a uh, pretty good resource generation up here. We'll dig into some more mods. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.